Today I would like to teach you how to crochet the basket weave stitch. This is how it looks like from the front and this is how it looks like from the back when you go in rounds. This stitch can be made in rows or in rounds. Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm the creator of Nikki's Homemade Crafts and let me teach you this beautiful stitch. So I have here a foundation row of just double crochets. A basket weave stitch is made out of a multiple of six. I added two extra stitches in the front and then the back just because I want the edge to look nice. So I'm just gonna crochet double crochets, one in the front and one in the back, and then the basket weave stitch all the way in between. So in total, I have here 14 stitches of which 12 of them are going to be the basket weave stitch. So let me show you how to do that. So the basket weave stitch is a combination of front post and back post stitches. So first we're going to do a double crochet, in which case here, since it's the beginning of the row, I'm gonna do an alternative turning chain. Now for the next three stitches, I'm going to crochet a front post double crochet. That means it is a front raised or front post double crochet where the stitch is raised to the front. I'm going around the pole to crochet a front post double crochet. For the next three stitches, I'm going to crochet a back post double crochet. I'm coming from the back around and pushing it to the back and doing double crochets. In the next three, we're doing front post double crochets again. And then the next three back post double crochets. And finally, in the last one, just to make it neat, I'm just going to do a normal double crochet. Now turn. You will now need to create the same effect as you see right here. So let me be a little bit more clear. If you would go in rounds, you would replicate this row again. That means where you see a front post, you're going to do another front post. And where you do a back post, you're going to do another back post. That is when you'd go in rounds. For this swatch right here, I'm going in rows. So which means when I turn, I have to do the opposite of what um, I did prior. That means these three stitches right here were back post. I need to now do a front post. Let me first do my alternative turning chain. Instead of a back post, I'm doing the opposite because I'm going in rows and doing a front post double crochet. So over here on this side, you see a front post, but from here it looks like a back post, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do another back post, three in total. Now over here we're doing front post. And over here, back post. And to keep it neat, I'm going to finish it with a double crochet. And now I'm going to turn. So for these two rows, they pretty much look identical. So if you would go in rounds, you would have literally replicated this row. As you can see right here, it would be front post, front post. But because we 
turned, we had to do the opposite of what we did prior, although it's exactly the same thing as it looks. So we did here a back post, but prior it was a front post, but it does look like a back post. So don't get too confused about it. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, just take a look at my written instructions on my website. So now I need to do my alternative turn and chain and then, so we now need to do two rows of the opposite look of what we're seeing right here. So we're seeing front post stitches right here. So now we need to do back post stitches over here for two rows. And over here it's going from going from back post to front post stitches. So you're doing two rows of the opposite look. So back post, Now front post, they're all double crochets as I mentioned so I'm just going to ignore the word double. Now back post, And over here, front post. So if you are going in rounds, then you would just replicate exactly the same thing. So you would here do back post, front post, back post, front post. So that's how you do it in rounds. Now we're doing it in rows. So we are going to replicate of what we see. So let me do my alternative turning chain. And I'm seeing here a back post. Yes, it's a front post we just did, but I'm looking at the view. So I'm looking at a back post. So we're doing another back post. Now over here I see a front post, so I'm doing a front post. I see a back post, so I'm doing a back post. And over here I see a front post. I'm finishing it up with my double crochet right here and I would turn. So now you can see how the basket weave is evolving. So you have four rows that need to be replicated. So this is a row type of basket weave and then there's of course the round type. So as you can see right here this is how it's made in a round and then this is how it's made in a row. Not too much different, right? Well, there is not much different. It's just that you're replicating the look on this one rather than going and replicating the exact stitch, which you do in a round. I have the written instructions on my website. There should be a link in the description that will take you there. Be sure to take a look at that. It really is much easier than you might think. If you've done a front post or back post stitch before, the basket weave stitch is super easy to crochet. Trust me. I hope this video was helpful on how to do the basket weave stitch. Please like, comment and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, see you then. Bye!